Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, up here uh, on the water supply new track that we put in, um, I've just, we had to cut the fence to put this track in to rip the uh, supply pipe into the main tank. So I'm just up here going to bash the posts in um, and then I'll come up and do the wire work and swing the gate later. So it's uh, blowing a gale, had a heck of a wind last night but luckily there's no trees down or no damage that I've seen so that's good but uh, yeah certainly keep the whole family awake uh, with the wind but got the old post rammer on behind and uh, yeah we'll bash some posts and then I'm going to do a couple uh, at the tank over there to stop the stock from rubbing on the intake. Uh, taps and stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to ram in a deer post here. There's a stay post. So this is all just fill. So I'm using full length deer post to try and get uh, it as stable as possible. So now we're going to ram up that strainer post. So this will be the post where the gate swings off. And once again, this is all fill. So get it in and then I'll put a foot of water tower in here later. So it takes me a bit to get manoeuvred into this spot. Um, yeah, the track is quite big and it's quite tight on this track. But we get there. Uh, the post driver is King Hitter Series 2. So it's, um, or Series 1 with a rock spike actually. So it's uh, yeah, quite an old piece of, piece of gear. Bought it uh, second hand off a guy who fenced his whole dairy farm with it uh, when he was converting uh, to dairy. So yeah, I, I do have a a side mount for it but it's just a fixed side mount um, just a homemade job um, made by the previous owner so we don't tend to use it for long we just uh, tend to find it easier just to have it directly on the back of the tractor like it is So here we're putting in the rock spike and yeah it's pretty hard underneath so this is all uh, virgin rock that hasn't been ripped or pushed um, so pretty well dead rock yeah pretty hard so we get down about three quarters of the way and then the rock spike won't go any further so.
we're using once again full length deer post um, putting it in as far as we can and then we'll tie our wires off to that and there'll be a stay post that'll go pretty well directly into the bank um, and then we can just fill in the bottom because the wires don't have to be tied off right at the bottom of the post we've done this before on some uh, steep tracks along some faces and it works really well so now I'm just putting a chain uh, around the post driver just to hold the post in that's slipping off the cap and wanting to go in on a funny angle so just trying to persuade it gently to uh, go straight down and not kick out at the bottom or at the top managed to get it done, got these two deer posts crammed in here and then we can build a box and some supports around there, keep the stock away. Oh, I actually saw that uh, on God's Own down in Southland somewhere, it might have been Mount Linton or something they, they had uh, yeah, a couple of deer posts to protect the, the vitals of the tanks. So, right, we'll just get out of this predicament and uh, head home. Weather's cutting it rough, pulled that post out, that post out. I'm going to chop them off so I can get the tractor in here and then we can strip out uh, this post, this post, that post, two more, strip all this out, back into here, start doing the race and um, yeah, we're going to have to switch it over to the old Ford 7000 just because that tractor's too big to get into here to do the ones at the back and hopefully I can use the three point linkage to lift those posts out. But. So just been chipping away in these kettle yards. Got um, one, two, three, four, five, five posts to pull out um, for now. So got pretty well stri uh, stripped out. So yeah, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one's got to come out or in that one. So that's it, get yeah, five. Um, and then the V will be coming through from about here that concrete like that and then through so these pins will be slightly bigger uh, race will be longer and then you yeah, stripped out the back over here so this will be this will square off and come through to about here and then there'll be a big long gate uh, up into here one of the tapari gates same as that one there but just a wee bit longer so we'll uh, try and pull these out hopefully they're not concreted in like the other one The old girl in the yards today, uh, father-in-law's Ford 7000, our post driver on it, and it works well because it fits uh, in between the small gateways. My trip is a bit big for in here, so we'll start uh, putting the end post in for the race. So this is the extended race that'll come out through the gear. Um, we will start, uh, start back into the post too.
bag, got the forcing pin posts in. One, two, three there. Um, yeah, it went in pretty good actually. Uh, these ones here are going to be a bit more tricky. I'm going to have to cut a hole in the concrete. Um, probably three holes. Yeah, bash them in. Which is uh, going to take some time. But here, uh, I need to put a put a post in the corner here uh, and there. So we'll try and get that done now. Um, probably won't be able to rock spike it. We'll just have to try and get it in. But yeah, we'll see we <laughs> see how we go. So oh crap, crikey, crikey, that's not right. Let's we'll measure it again from the outside. 5.3 and 5 at 200 which is a metre so 4.3 so we go 4, 300 divided by 4 gaps is a metre 75 in each if we go metre 75 here so this is our expanded race we've got Three posts, one, two, three. So yeah, gonna have to cut the concrete um, and bash some posts in there, which uh, be interesting, but we'll, we'll make it work. Uh, also got to put a post in here somewhere, continue this fence on uh, through to here. Continue this fence on here through, uh, and then where that catwalk meets. That catwalk will come through here as well. So, big changes, but we get in there. Really done the easy stuff. <laughs> yeah, now it, uh, now it gets a bit more tricky. So, uh, yeah, got the area all prepared for where the crusher's gonna go. It's gonna go in here. Um, it's not quite level, so we might just have to block it up on one side with some washers or some gel steel or something. Um, yeah, we'll figure that out. So yeah, got our sections we've got to cut out here and one post there. I've got a masonry bit on the angle grinder um, that I've used before for some concrete. So might give that a go. Um, and if that doesn't work, I have to go and hire a concrete cutter or something. So we'll make it work one way or another. So right, we'll leave that video there. Um, it's only uh, Wednesday, I think Wednesday. Yeah. But I'm off to Milford tomorrow, gonna walk the Milford track. Uh, got invited along last minute by some friends, so get off the farm for a bit. Jenna's gonna look after the place. And um, yeah, and then when we get back, uh, we've got Lincoln students coming, a um, bunch more meetings, Cosmos Radio New Zealand will be here doing another interview. Um, then we've got Kiwi field days. So hopefully catch up with uh, the guys in Tapari and Farm IQ there, as well as have a bit of a look around. Um, yeah, and then try and get this, uh, this these yards tidied up before weaning and pregnancy testing and all that other fun stuff. So, right, we'll leave that there. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.